Alright y'all, welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm just gonna do like a real quick video on how I clean my weapons after the range. Remember, this is not a detailed cleaning, this is just a real quick breakdown and show you guys how fast and how easy it is to maintain and clean your weapons after the range. That's today's topic. So what do I use to clean my weapons? I use the one and only shooter lube. I'm gonna try to get a close up picture of this. Shooter lube is what I usually use to clean the solvent. It's really nice. One of the biggest things that I like about the shooter lube is that there's no odor at all. There's no odor, there's no scent. It doesn't smell like chemicals. You get it on your hand, it, it doesn't smell like anything. It's biodegradable. I think you can actually drink this stuff and be all right. I mean, I'm not gonna do that, but it's all biodegradable. There's no harsh chemicals that's gonna hurt you, your family, or your weapons. I always use shooter lube. This has always been my go-to cleaning solvent. I have nothing but good things to say about it. I haven't had any issues with them. I like the fact that they don't burn onto your metal. Like once you shoot it, you know something Sometimes you leave oil in your weapons or whatever and then you go shooting and the oil like burns onto your barrel or whatever. I like the fact that it doesn't do that. It doesn't do that at all. I like the fact that there's no water in it so it's not going to freeze if you live in cold temperatures and it's not going to rust out any of your guns and parts after you use it on your weapons. Alright, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video and start disassembling and breaking down these weapons so we can start cleaning them. First, we're going to start with the disassembly of all the weapons. I'm going to start with my wife's little Ruger. Make sure it's empty. Take the safety pin down. So now that we got all the pistols disassembled, the next step is we're going to bring in this cleaning solvent, the shooter lube. This shooter lube is pretty awesome. It's all natural. It's biodegradable. There's no water in it, so you don't have to worry about it freezing. I love this lubricant. It does what it's supposed to do. It, it's clean. It, is, it doesn't have any odor. doesn't have any scent. It's all eco-friendly and it works awesome you don't have to stay forever so basically what I do I put the oil over here I just literally just grab the barrel just spray this a little bit same thing with the barrel just spray all the barrels and just let them sit for a little bit I spell a little bit on the slides. Alright, so while the barrels on the slides are sitting in the solvent, what I like to do, I just like to grab my little rag, just spray a little, a little bit on there. I just go ahead and I like to wipe down the frames. We're going to start with the shadow system. This last weekend, I'm pretty sure we shot like, I'm pretty sure it was more like a thousand rounds, honestly. I just like to wipe down the frame a little bit with the solvent. It's not, like I said, it's not super dirty, so I don't have to go into too much detail, but literally just wipe it down and just wipe off a lot of that carbon. Just get up in here, get up on the rails. I'm not gonna do like a deep cleaning of this. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, Get up in this, just get my little old toothbrush, little toothbrush, and just loosen up some of this carbon right here. Then literally just wipe it off. Get 
get the light. There's a lot of carbon buildup on the light. Let's go ahead and make sure I wipe that off. All right, so this frame is pretty straight. Put that down. This one shot a little bit through it, not too much. Shot like about a hundred or two rounds through this one. So this one isn't going to be as dirty, but I'll do the same process. Same thing for my wife's pistol. This one. So my wife shot this one, and it's not that bad. You know, the first time she shot it, you know, she was a little tripping. She was tripping a little bit. You know, the first time feeling an explosion in the palm of your hands, and so she she wasn't she wasn't that bad. You know, the first round scared her a little bit. You know, we were, we were shooting at an indoor range, and there was guys shooting next to us, five five six and bigger calibers and stuff. That was kind of a little bit loud even through the headphones for her but after a couple minutes once she got used to it it was like nothing after a while she shot a couple rounds through this Ruger she's not a big fan she likes the way how my frames feel so we're gonna go ahead and get her uh, she's gonna go ahead and get a um, I believe it was the Glock 43X MOS version she wants a red dot she's a big fan of red dots now <laughs> she did awesome with the iron sights when she shot the iron sights she, shit, she did pretty good she was actually on target like you know within like three four inches of the target so for the first time ever shooting a gun she, she did pretty good all right so now that, so now that the frames are wiped down ready wipe on the frames we're gonna go ahead and get to the barrel and the slides and the guide rods all right so what I like to do with my with my barrels I like to get my brush as you can see the shooter loop broke up a lot of that carbon real quick I just like to get my brush and just loosen that up a little bit might spray might just Get it a little more. It's a little. It's a little bit more. And that shooter, that shooter lose break it up. Like you really don't need to use a brush on it. But I let that barrel sit for a couple weeks without cleaning it, so it's kind of stained. So we'll see if the shooter lube is gonna, it's gonna take it off. And so I just like to just go ahead and just get the port right here to open it. Just a quick brush. As you can see, I'm not, I'm not doing a lot of work. I don't even have to do this, but this is just a routine that I do. Same thing. This one. And I'll do the same thing with the guy rods. Just do a little. My little custom P80. It held its own, man. It held up. It did its thing, but. We, we, we just really both enjoy shooting the, the shadow systems, man. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. So, and I got that scrub down. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to just wipe, wipe down the barrel. Let's get it. Wipe it down. I guess this uh, bronze right here got uh, burnt. I guess it got burnt. It was, it was kicking out them flames, man. It's like it's completely stained on there. I don't know if that's going to come off or not. That's crazy. Let that down. As you can see, I was shooting some hot rounds. I was shooting some hot rounds through that thing. It burnt. It stained it. Wow, that's crazy. I'm going to go ahead and get my board brush. Just going to just spray a little bit in that. Turn it through. Back and forth. All right, a couple times for that one. Yeah, man, that shoulda lubed. Get all that stuff off of there. Just wipe that stuff down. Just wipe it off and take it and spray it. You don't have to let it sit. That's what I like about the shooter loop. You don't have to let it sit for hours. You literally just let it spray it on. Let it sit for a couple minutes. And then you just wipe it off. I 
So like we shot like about a, about a hundred through this one. The little Ruger. It's not bad to shoot. It's just it's just super small compared like you know the grip angles that you get compared to um compared to the Glock and the P80s and stuff like that. It's just a really small grip. So it was just a little bit more work to control the Ruger because it's such a small frame. And my wife just loved the size of the P80 and the shadow system. She loved the shadow system, the feel of the shadow systems. She loved this one so much. So we had to get her a Glock 43X because that was the closest one that felt like this to her for her grip. So I should be coming in pretty soon. Go ahead. Next, I'm gonna just run the snake through it. Just dry them up. I keep forgetting to stay in camera frame. I'm just so used to just doing this so quick, I'm forgetting that I gotta stay in frame right here. So forgive me if I keep going out of frame. I'm just just so used to doing it. Like I said, this is just a real quick cleaning session after Ranger. This isn't a real, this isn't a real like detail cleaning that I would normally do. I usually save like my real detail cleaning like after like about two, three thousand rounds. And that's when I really like break down everything and take apart everything and really go into full detail cleaning. But since we just shot about a thousand rounds, thousand or so rounds through the shadow systems barrel, like I said, the shadow systems had the most work out of all the out of all the, the pistols that we took. The shadow systems had the most work. It was the most fun to shoot. My wife really loved it, and now she wants a red dot. She wants a Glock 43 with a red dot. So yeah, you now that goes. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Now that we got all the guide rods cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, focus on the slides. Just wipe them down real quick. Like I said, they're not too bad. They're not too dirty. Shadow systems one got about a couple, about a thousand or so rounds through it. Performed flawlessly, no issues. It was the most fun to shoot. My wife loved it. She wants to get a. Like I said, we're gonna get her a Glock now. Glock 43. Put this off to the side over here. This one. I just like to wipe it up off the table and just... This is the one that got shot the least. It wasn't the most fun to shoot. It was, I think my wife realized what I was trying to tell her. Just because a pistol is small, that doesn't mean it's gonna be comfortable to shoot. The fact that it's small, that's gonna be a downfall, a downside towards it because it's small. So you have to try to, you have less to try to hang on to and maneuver and hold on to and everything. So she saw exactly what I was talking about. And it's funny because she shot the rifles and at first she was afraid. <laughs> she was afraid when she shot the 5.56 five, and the 300 that like she was afraid to shoot it at first. But then once she shot it and she realized like, you know what, it's not that bad. She really, really enjoyed shooting the rifles, you know. But she enjoyed the Shadow Systems pistols more than all of them. So that's a good thing. I wanted to see if I can get these burn marks off this barrel. So I just sprayed a little bit more of the solvent. I'm just gonna go ahead and just um hopefully I can do it in camera. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to see if I can get that stain off of there. I'm using my wire brush right now, but I'm using it like kind of gentle. I'm pressing down with a little bit of force, but kind of being gentle because I don't want to scratch the finish too much. I don't know if this is gonna scratch it up or make it look crazy or not, but we'll find out. I think I got those stains off of it. That's all I was just kind of worried about. See how they're gonna do then. 
and for the most part they came off it's, some of the stuff is just going to be wear like that's just metal wear where the barrel I guess is, and the slide is meeting together so it's not that bad I got I got those little dark spots off those dark spots off of it so that's pretty cool you can still see a little bit right here but I'm not worried I'm not too worried about it I'll try to um I'll try to see what I can do about that later on but I'm not going to focus on that right now so all right so right now the next step is we're going to get the, the shooter loop oil do the shooter, shooter loop oil and we're gonna go ahead and just uh just show you my little oiling process and what I do just put a little dab right here a little dab right there and dab right there same thing and dab right there right there And just put um, I just put a little bit in between the in between the springs and the guide rod, and I'm gonna go ahead and work that in there. I'm gonna work that in there when I put the whole pistol back together and rack the side a couple times to work that oil in there, and then uh, for the frame, just a little, just nothing crazy. Just all the parts that, all the parts that the slide was gonna, and the metal, and everything's gonna meet. Just put a little bit on there, nothing crazy. Same thing. A little bit of lube on there. Just putting a little bit, just little drops, just little drops, nothing crazy. So what I like to do is just so like I just like to get some Q-tips. Let's go ahead and just work that oil on there, just on the edges. Not a lot. I said you don't need a lot of oil. I just work some up and down the barrel right here. Get it in between there. The middle part, all the part that the middle connects. And I just wipe some up and down the barrel. And what I like about the shooter lube oil is that they claim that what it does it doesn't just sit there and lubricate that it says that it soaks into the the metal and it kind of bonds with it to create like a like a permanent kind of lube so I mean that's pretty cool I ain't no scientist or anything I can only take their word for it but if it does what it says it does I mean that's pretty dope and honestly I mean I really kind of I believe it because ever since I've been using shooter lube in my rifles and my pistols it's like I don't even have to put like this much oil on there honestly I'm just like you know just I'm just going a little graceful on the oil right now but you don't you don't even need this much oil and like I said I mean it just bonds it just bonds to the metal but there's nothing wrong I mean you can't you can't really over oil your pistols like I said I don't I don't put a lot of oil I just hit all the spots where all the metals meet some oil in there. Uh, 
And that's basically it. We just start putting stuff back together. And then after that, once I put it back together, as you can see, I get some oil on the outside from hand from handling the oil and when I was oiling everything, just get my rag and it just literally just wipe that off. Wipe off any excess oil. And like I said, if you if you put a little bit too much oil on it, like right now I think I, I went I, I went a little oil heavy or whatever, just but just to show you guys you can see in the video that's no big deal if you if you go a little bit heavy in the oil you can just go back and wipe them down a day or two just let them sit and you can just go back and wipe them down and now boom look all shiny and brand new and there you have it man just a quick detailed breakdown of me, how I wipe down my weapons, how I oil them, how I clean them after the range day. Nothing crazy, just real quick, simple. Hope you guys learned something. Back, we're going to go back up top, close this video out. Alright, so we're back and all the weapons are nice and clean. Look at this sheen, look at this nice shine. It's not oily, it just looks nice and clean. Oh, this gun, this gun is so little, it just literally falls out of my hand all the time. Everything's all nice and clean. Like I said, that was just a real quick breakdown cleaning. That wasn't a detailed cleaning at all. It was just a real quick after the range cleaning that I always do to maintain my weapons. There's some people that say, I never clean my weapons. I, I should put thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds through my weapons and I've never cleaned them. And if, if that's what you do, then that's fine. Do you like <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and say that you're wrong for that or anything. It's your weapons You can do what you want for me personally after every major range session that like, if I put a couple hundred rounds through any of my my weapons I like to clean them. I mean, it's just just me say what you want if you can say it's overkill and it is what it is It's my weapons. <laughs> I'm gonna treat them as such and like I said if you if you clean if you don't clean your weapons If you if you're the type of just shoot thousands and thousands of rounds through your weapons and then throw CLP on it just Rack it and then hit hit to the range again. That's what you do. Then I mean, more power to you. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. If it works, it works. You know what I'm saying? But for me, especially for my personal defense weapons, if my life is gonna depend on these weapons, then I want them to be maintained. I want I want to make sure. I don't want to be having a piece of a good piece of mind knowing that they're well lubricated and they're well oiled up and they're clean and they're ready to go in case I need them. So, anyways, if you guys have any questions of any of the products that I use cleaning solvent one of the best cleaning solvents on the planet there's no odor it's no strong scent and you can lock him you can lock it it has a safety on there so it's not going to depress if you don't want to it just does everything that i need it to do and it leaves your gun looking really clean and it's not oily it's not oily to the touch even though i put oil on there i just get my little rag and i just wipe it off any excess oil i just love it i love the solvent i love how it cleans i like the oil i like how it lubricates and i have no problem i have no issues no beef no complaints with shooter lube it's one of my favorite clean in products i think i'm going to continue to use shooter lube as long as they're alive in the market and selling i'll be buying shooter lube hope you guys learned something i hope you guys got some type of insight like i said after every range day you don't need to go into an in-depth detail cleaning but i personally recommend that after you spray your weapons especially a couple hundred rounds i would suggest that you just go in there you saw how it took it didn't take that long you know spray it on there let it sit for a little bit wipe the frame you know get my board brush a couple times through the board get the board snake dry it up oil it up and call it a day put it back together and I call it a day. It's not a lot of work, so I don't know why some guys don't like to maintain their weapon. I mean, I have no problem maintaining my weapons. I actually like cleaning my weapons, so call me weird. But anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video. Peace.